radical faith, big faith, and a big God. Sometimes as God bursts within us vision, He begins to prompt us and lead us to do things according to His will, to further His kingdom. And on the cusp of doing so, naturally doubt will arise. The enemy will begin to attack our mind and make us question what God spoke unto us to do. Or sometimes as people around us begin to criticize the vision, or they don't understand the radical leap of faith that God's calling us to. So therefore, they're not with it. They speak against it. And sometimes our own thoughts, you know, we second guess the will and the movement of God. But I want to remind you in the Old Testament, after Yahweh delivered Israel from Egypt, and they were on the brink of entering into the promised land, Yahweh told Joshua to send spies into the land and that they would search out the land. But as they came back, the report of 10 of those spies was all negative. Yes, they acknowledged that the land was beautiful and abundant with fruit, and it was definitely a land flowing with milk and honey. They all questioned God and His capability to deliver the people of the land who were giants. They were very big and they were very numerous. They didn't think that God could deliver them from those people. So they said, yo, listen, we shouldn't go can't do this, just turn back, just go back to Egypt, just live in the wilderness, just settle for the less. You know, we're, we're straight where we're at, just go back to slavery. But then Joshua and Caleb are like, nah, by all means, God is the God who just delivered us from not only Egypt, but he parted the Red Sea. We trust him. Just go, we can take the land, just face these giants, just conquer the land. So I challenge and I encourage you today, whatever you're facing when it comes to the vision that God's given you, you face opposition, if you're on the, uh, the threshold of doubt, if people are speaking against you and the vision of what God's calling you to do, you know what? Stand up and have radical faith. And remember the God that has transformed your life and has given you salvation. He's the same God can not only deliver you and have you overcome those obstacles and those challenges, but he's the same redeeming God who will bring to fruition the vision that he's given you. So let's have big faith and a big God and stay committed to his grind. Wow.